Yo, what is going on guys? It's Sam here and today I'm bringing you a new video. Today video is actually very, very, very excited for me because we're finally going to be able to wrap my car today and y'all going to see the color reveal. Some of y'all guys did get it right in the comments below um, on the last video, but none of it, none of y'all guessed it right, like the exact color. And I think this color is very, like a very killer color. So let's go ahead and take a look at the color. All right guys, so I got gloss slate gray as a color. I think this color is going to be super killer on the E46. I already cut some off. I was wrapping small parts to get some practice on vinyl wrapping, but this color is going to be super killer. I'll put some pictures on the screen right now to see how it looks fully wrapped, but I'm so excited guys. I already wrapped some parts. Let's go take a look at the other parts I wrapped. I wrapped the gas tank because it was probably one of the easiest things to take out and to practice on a flat surface. Um, I did pretty good, there's no bubbles, and the color looks super killer. I also wrapped the trim pieces right here. These, hold on, let me back, those little pieces right here, I wrapped that pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap in this little shed garage. I'll just put some plastic, that way no dust can get in. I'm gonna just park my car inside. Well, just the front end because I'm only going to try to wrap the front end today like the hood and the two fenders I want to do this video in like three parts the wrapping process I want to wrap the hood the fenders the whole body and then just the bumpers. So um, Stay tuned for the next videos, but today we're going to try to knock knock out the hood and the fenders We just part the front end right here and we get started the lighting in here is not that very good but at least I'll be safe from all the you know the dust or whatever from the trees so let's go all right guys so i cleaned as much as i can it, it's still kind of messy but it looks better than how it did before i'm gonna just back up my e46 here and start cleaning the hood and everything and hopefully the rack comes out good today wish me luck guys okay so i was gonna part the car facing that way but the, like i said the lighting is very bad in there you won't be able to see nothing so i'm gonna just go ahead park it in reverse i'm still covered by a little bit i don't think no dust will get here anyway plus it's a very cloudy day today it's kind of like around the mid 60s so it's my it's gonna be my first time rapping so if i do anything wrong guys don't get at me too hard um this is what i'm gonna be using a heat gun that's the most important part and a squeegee some more and a knife i believe that's that's all you need and some cleaning um stuff to clean the whole hood so let's go ahead and start cleaning this hood i guess okay guys so i already cleaned the whole hood now i'm about to go over with some 70 percent alcohol and make sure when you start wrapping you got clean underneath the car too so i'm about to go over the edges hit it with some alcohol and everything and hopefully it's all clean that way it won't have no dust inside the vinyl so let's get to it all right guys um i already cut the whole piece out it's time to start wrapping. I'm kind of scared to be honest because I, like I said, I never wrapped nothing before other than my trim pieces. But we're giving, we're out here giving it a shot for you guys and hopefully this car turned out to looking like a beast. Um, I think I cut a little bit too much, but that's okay because you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. I got a whole bunch of wrap left too. Um, so let's go ahead and start doing this. Okay guys, so what I did right now was I glassed the vinyl wrap. Uh, you know, I stretched, I stretched it as much as I could um, from the middle. That way it can be as flat as possible, no bubbles. And then with the heat gun, I could just take all these bubbles out. Like I said, I haven't done this before, but I watched plenty of videos. So I think I'm going in the right path. So let's keep going. All right guys, so I'm working my way down to the left and then to the right, and then I'll go up and down. But so far it's coming out pretty good. It's kind of smooth in here. I do feel like some dirt inside probably like I probably didn't clean it good enough but it's not too bad it's only like like two three dots in there now you can't even tell on camera but it looks pretty good um I'm sorry I'm not recording much I'll record more when I'm doing the fenders because I'm learning it as I go right now so uh let's do this
All right, guys. Well, all the videos I watched, all the techniques they're doing are, are working for me. But one thing they did say is that the number one key to rapping is patience. And I'm I don't really have a lot of patience, but I'm trying my best, and it's not coming out bad. It's coming out. Oh, pretty good. What you think, Thomas? Give me your honest opinion. Like, don't even sugarcoat it for the video. What do you think? You're doing good for the first time? Yeah, right? Yeah. It does, it's not looking that bad, but uh, I still got a whole bunch of work. Like, I'm already, like, 20 minutes of working, and I'm still working on this left side. And then I got to go to the right side, bottom and top. And then the hood is done. Like I said, I know I'm not showing too much, but I'll, like, show more of it um, later on in the video when I'm wrapping the fender. So... Uh, let me just get this hood done. Okay guys, I started to wrap my hood at 12 o'clock. It is now 4.30. It's getting a little bit colder, so I might pick up this video tomorrow. But let's take a look at the hood. Uh, there are some small imperfections where I'm going to show you guys. But it's not too bad. It's way better than my old black hood where all the paint was coming out. But let's take a look. Here it goes, guys. The hood looks so good now compared to what it did like a couple weeks ago where all the paint was bubbling up on this side. I mean, they are small, small imperfections, but it's nothing too bad like how it was. But comment down below what you think about this color, guys, for real. All right, guys, so it's actually the next day. It's like 70 degrees today, and it feels so good to wrap. So what are we gonna do today? We're gonna take out both of the fenders and try to wrap them, hopefully. So let's get to it. So here goes the hood, guys. It kind of looks like Nard or Gray, but it's not. But right now, we're about to go ahead and take this fender out and go ahead and start wrapping it. I'm going to show more of the process, like I said. And then I'll probably do this off camera. But let's go ahead and get to work. All right, guys. Since Big T ain't here, my lovely girlfriend's going to help me out today. Ali, what you think about the, the wrap? Be honest. It looks good. You think so? So you're going to help me film right now? So let's get to it. Um, Let's go ahead and start taking this fender out. Okay, guys. Here it goes. The fender's off. Here it goes right here. It's hella dirty. I'm going to wash and then rub some alcohol in it. And it should be good. But so far, so good. Um, look at this. I got carbon fiber mirror covers too. I just got these like two days ago, guys. Let me know what you think about them. They were very cheap. It's only like 50 bucks for them. Um, Save me some wrap too. So, yeah. And it goes quite well with my carbon fiber trunk now. That way, this won't be the only carbon fiber thing I got. So I was cutting the vinyl and this is what happened. <laughs> I cut this one for the, um, the passenger fender and I was doing the driver's side. All right guys, so what I'm doing right now is I'm, tr I'm trying to get it as smooth as possible, which is called glassing the, the fender. So what I'm doing, now that I got this every everything smooth here, Put a magnet right there and then just try to take all the wrinkles out by stretching the vinyl where the wrinkles start. Woo. It's kind of windy right now, so. All right, guys, I've been wrapping since three o'clock on this one fender. It's six o'clock already. Um, I'm done. All I'm doing right now is just tucking everything in and I'll just cut out all the rest of the pieces out. Okay guys, 
here goes the fender I just put the trim back on which I'm gonna be wrapping also um, it looks like a clean clean cut right Thomas yeah it looks just like paint job I might stop for today but I'm gonna just put it right on and see how it looks with the hood okay guys here goes the car I know I have been recording a lot and not showing a lot but I can already see it coming back together God, I'm, I'm so happy I finally got motivated to start wrapping my car. Um, don't forget about the fitment. I mean, it's just, I just put it like just to show you guys. It's not bolted on or anything. I still gotta play with the fitment. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this fender off camera and I'll pick up the video. And I'll probably end the video once I show you how it looks with both fenders on and the fitment's all good. And I'll probably go ahead and end the video like I said because I know this video is getting too long. And I'm not showing enough, but comment down below, guys, what you think. You think I did a good job with this color or not? Comment down below, though. Well, there it goes, guys. The wrap is on both fenders. I might have to redo this fender because I'll show you in a second why. But a lot of people are going to think this is um, Nardo Gray. It's not Nardo Gray. It's close to it. Um, I didn't want to do Nardo Gray because one of my friends have Nardo Gray already. But this is a little bit darker um and camera looks like Nardo gray a lot of people is gonna say it's Nardo gray but it's not but let me show you this where i messed up right here i want to be real with you guys i don't want to show y'all that the wrap is perfect because this is my first time doing it but i don't know if you can see right here it's starting to peel off already i was drawing the work and when i got out to see it the wrap just starting to come up i don't know if i didn't tuck it right or if i just i don't know i don't know what happened let me know if i should just put a sticker right here or redo the fender i might want to redo it because i don't want stickers on my car no more but comment down below So I think this color is super nice. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about the color. Um, I'm ready to see the whole car fully wrapped. Like I said, I want to make this video in three parts because that alone just took me about like 10 hours just to get the hood, the fender, and this fender. And I might have to redo this fender. But let me know down in the comments below what you think about this color. Alright guys, so I'm about to go ahead and end the video. Let me know what you think about the color. I think it's a super killer color. I can't wait to see the E46 fully wrapped. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe because we got a lot of content coming with the E46. Again, I'm rebuilding it. I'm putting the woods back on. Thomas also just got a new 335i, so we're going to have some upgrades for the 335i coming. And he also got an E46. And I got a new project coming or I'm going to upgrade on BMW. I'm going to get a newer BMW. And we just got a lot of content coming, so if, if you're new to the channel, subscribe like I said. Um, let me know what you think about the color. And as always, it's been Cervantes Garage. Stay humble, stay blessed. We out. Peace. You don't know me anymore. You don't blow me.